Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how you guys can make a Roblox data store. Now, I made a video on this uh, a while back, and you guys have been saying in that comment section that it wasn't working for you. And I'm pretty sure it's because we didn't use something called a p-call, or p-call function, or whatever, how you, however you call it. So basically, I'm going to be renewing that tutorial, I'm going to be redoing it with a p-call function. And uh, if you guys want to learn more about what pcall is, I'll, li I'll leave a link to a dev forum article in the description below. But anyways, let's go and get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing you guys want to do is um, make sure that uh, Studio Access is actually enabled. So how you guys can check if Studio Access is enabled is by going to Home, go to Game Settings, go to Security, and make sure that enable studio access to API services is turned on. Uh, all right, so once that's turned on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a script inside of the service script service, and we're gonna rename this script to data. Uh, once we've renamed that script to data, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the script and we're gonna delete print hello world, and we're gonna type in local data store service equals game colon get service data store service I'm going to type in local uh, data store equals game or not game equals data store service colon get data store it's going to do super epic oh data store all right so uh it's okay, so Super Epic Data Store is 656. So you guys can make the uh, data store name whatever you want. This right here, this string is going to be your data store name. So you can like, you can make this data store name, I don't know, OPOP, -OP, like just that. But uh, for me, I'm just going to make it Super Epic Data Store, you know, just because it's a cool name. Anyways, once your script looks like this, we're going to go down two lines and we're going to type in game dot players dot player added colon connect function and we're in these parentheses we're going to type in player oh there we go <clears throat> and we're going to go down one line and it should automatically have this little end right here at the end of the script so then what we're going to type or then what we're going to do is we're going to type in um, local leader stats equals instance dot new folder I'm going to type in leaderstats.name equals leaderstats, leaderstats.parent equals player. Alright, and we're going to go down two lines, and we're going to type in local, uh, local, whatever your currency name is. So we're just going to use cash. It could be coins or anything, but we're just going to use cash equals instance.new int value. I'm going to do cash dot val or cash dot name equals cash cash dot parent equals leader stats <clears throat> just like that so once your script looks like this what we're going to do is we're going to type in um, local success error message equals p call function all right and we're just going to do Oh, and before that, go down one line, guys, and we're going to type in local data. All right, just like that. Just local data, no equals, like, behind it or anything else, just local data. Then we're going to type in local success error message equals pcall function. Then we're going to type in data equals uh, data store, colon, get async, player dot user ID dot dot dash cash or whatever you all right so we're gonna type in this uh but when we type in dash cash in the quotation marks you guys can uh you, ha you guys have to um make it you guys have to make it like the name of your currency you guys can make it the name of your currency i'm just putting dash cash because it might the name of my currency is called cash anyways we're gonna go down two lines we're gonna type in if success then print success else print there was an error 
I'm gonna type in um, warn error. Oh, not wait. Warn error message. All right, so your script should look like this. It should say like data store service up here, and your the name of your data store. It should say game dot players dot player added colon connect function player local leader stats and everything like this is making the new leader stats and then it should say local data local success error message equals p call function data you know blah 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 so once your script is looks like this if you guys need a um, reference script or if you guys just want to copy and paste the script i'll leave a uh, copy and paste thing down in the description below anyways <clears throat> once your script looks like this we're gonna go down another two lines one two and we're gonna type in game dot players dot player removing not player added player removing because we did player added right here and player added means when the player joins the game now we're going to do player removing all right this is when the player remo or leaves the game basically game dot players dot player removing colon connect function plr this time not player plr and what we're going to do is we're going to type in um local success error message equals p call function all right just like we did right here except without the data just like we, we did right here we're gonna do it down here i'm gonna type in um oh wait hold on guys okay sorry sorry about this guys so i forgot to put another thing uh where it says if success then what we're gonna do uh after we it after it says print six or Actually, we just, everyone get remove remove print success. All right, remove that, and type in, uh, uh type in uh, cash, or whatever your, the name of your currency is. So like, what whatever the name of this is right here. So if it's coins, then you type in coins. But anyways, so I'm gonna do cash because my my name is cash or the currency's name is cash. Uh, we're gonna do cash dot value equals data all right just like that so nothing else just cash out value equals data i forgot to add that i'm sorry guys anyway so we're gonna uh what this is in the player added by the way not player removing player added all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in data now we're at the player removing we're gonna type in data store colon uh set async not get async set async Play plr dot user id because we didn't type in player because we used plr right here and we used player right here anyways plr dot user id dot dot dash cash comma um plr dot leader stats dot cash or or, or like dot cash or like Wait, when it, when it says, guys, okay, so, <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot talk today, everyone, so, when it says leaderstats.cash, um, we're not re just referring to this, alright, we're not referring to the local cache, cache.name, we're, we're actually referring to, like, where it says cache.name, we're referring to this right here, so, if it's coins, instead, like, if the, so this, if the, if the variable is cache, but the name, the actual name of the currency is coins, we would do player.leaderstats.cash coins but since since the since i made the variable and the name cash i'm gonna do player.leaderstats.cash all right all right so player.leaderstats.cash uh dot value all right and we're, now we're gonna go down one two lines again we're gonna do if success then print su uh successfully saved uh player data data all right then we're gonna do else print there was an error while saving player data and then we're gonna warn error message all right all right so that's basically all the script that's basically all the scripting there is uh now let's go ahead and uh test the game out and when we join we should have cash yep right here cash and uh yeah the data store should work but uh it can't really work and what right now and what i mean by that is we don't have a way to get cash all right and so like we don't have a way to like 
get cash in our game. So what I'm going to do to like, so, cause like, obviously you need, you need to get cash for the data store to save. All right. So that's what I'm trying to get, uh, get at. So we're going to have to make a way to get cash. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a GUI right here. I'm going to name this cash give. I'm going to make a button and rename this button to cash button. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this for the sake of the tutorial. Or you make it UI corner. Uh, auto scale it. Make sure it fits. Okay, there you go. And uh, we're going to do text scaled. We're going to make it green because it's money. Uh, <laughs> make it text stroke. We're going to do that. 0 0.5. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're now we're, this is the cash button, guys. This button gives you free cash. So we're going to just give cash. All right. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to make it in the replicate storage. We're going to insert a remote event. This remote event is going to give us the cash. So we're going to do this uh, cash give. All right. We're going to make a. Uh, we're going to make a local script inside of the. Button. We're gonna do local event equals game clone get service replicated storage or dot uh cache give. Alright, I forgot that. We're gonna do event or script dot parent dot mouse button one click clone connect function event clone fire server. Alright. <coughs> and uh now we're gonna make a script inside of service script service we're gonna do cache give script we're gonna do local event equals game clone get service replicate storage dot cache give and do event dot on server event we're gonna function uh, player player dot leader stats dot cache dot value plus equals uh, one, 100. All right, so basically what I just did is I made a script that fires a remote event when you click it, and the remote event, what it does is it gives you 100 cash. So basically when you click this button, it gives you 100 cash. Anyways, so now that we've made everything, like a way to get cash and the data store and cash itself, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out in the actual like in our Roblox game. Now the reason why you can't test data stores out in Roblox Studio is because data stores don't like work function or work er, or function properly in a uh, Roblox Studio. I'm so sorry, guys. I cannot talk. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna click on file. We're gonna click on publish to Roblox. Wait for this little text to go away. And then we're going to exit out of Roblox Studio. I'm just going to pull up Google Chrome real quick. So we're going to exit Roblox Studio. We're in Google Chrome right now. How you can actually view, view your game as an actual game, not just in Roblox Studio. Go to Create. And click on your game. You, not like anything over here. Click on your game's logo. All right? Like the little icon right here that shows inside your game. Or just the logo of your game. Click on it. And it should bring you to this page. What we're going to do is click on back, this back button right here. And it should bring you to your game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play the game. And now our data store should work. So what we're going to do is we are going to full screen it. As you can see, we got cash right here. When you give cash, we get 100, 100 cash when we click it, as you guys can see. I have an auto clicker that's why it went up so fast this is my auto clicker everybody this is my built-in auto clicker um yeah all right anyways so this uh i have thirty-one thousand cash using my built-in auto clicker now i'm gonna leave the game and it should uh it should save um not sure what this is i'm gonna just close out of that i'm gonna i'm gonna refresh the game and when we join back it should save our data Yep, alright. 
it did save our data everyone now we have uh 31,000 cash we can keep on clicking and leave the game it'll save our cash again all right so that's basically an updated version on how you guys can make a data store on roblox if this uh video did um fix your problem uh, if this video did fix your problem guys please leave a like and uh subscribe to my channel uh my goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers and everyone who or every person who subscribes gets me one step closer to hitting my goal of 5,000 subscribers. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.